India Diverse <laughs> What makes India diabetic? Middle income country like India will be able to bear the extra burden of diabetes. To know more, I reached Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Center. Uh, please tell us about diabetes and how it plays the role of catalyst in, in complications like heart disease and so on. Diabetes basically is a condition where the blood sugar levels are high in the body. Okay. People think that only people with diabetes have uh, sugar. Uh, everybody is sweet, but uh, people with diabetes are sweeter, so they have little extra sugar. So what do you mean by extra sugar? In the fasting state, when you don't take any food, the blood sugar should be below 100 normally. Okay. If it's between 100 to 125, we call it as pre-diabetes, and if it's above 126, it's diabetes. But people think that that's all is diabetes, and you just bring down little sugar, and you stop eating sugar, you'll be fine. Diabetes is more than that. Diabetes also has what is called as a vascular component. This is called as a metabolic component, which means glucose and all that comes under the metabolism. So that's a metabolic component. Vascular component is a blood vessel. Vascular means blood vessel. So it also affects the blood vessels. There are two types of blood vessels which can be affected, the small blood vessels and the large blood vessels. The small blood vessels are in the eye, the kidney and in the feet. So there they can get affected. So it can get, uh, you can get what is called as diabetic eye disease or diabetic retinopathy. Okay. Then you can get diabetic kidney disease, which is one of the commonest causes of kidney disease in the world today. And then you have neuropathy, which means that the sensation in the foot goes down. So you don't feel anything. If you're walking, the sensation is totally gone. A nail can poke and you still won't know. So these are the three small blood vessel problems due to diabetes and the nerves getting affected. Then you have the large blood vessels. The large blood vessels are in the heart and in the brain. So you can get heart attacks and you can get paralytic strokes. So this is also part of diabetes. So it's not just glucose. And of course, along with glucose, when you say metabolic factor, there are other metabolic factors. Cholesterol goes up, triglyceride goes up. Uh, these are also fa factors associated with diabetes metabolic side. But the vascular side is important. So we call it as a metabolic come vascular disorder. That means the blood vessels are also there. The metabolic is also there. So when you treat diabetes also, you have to pay attention to both. Don't just give a Thing which will reduce the glucose and don't look at everything else. You have to take the whole thing as a picture because as you said, diabetes can be a catalyst for other diseases. If you look at the number of people with diabetes in India, today it is 6.2 crores, which means 62 million people in diabetes. That is three times the size of Australia right. and almost 15 times the size of Denmark. Is only the number of people in India who have diabetes. If you look at the number of people with pre-diabetes, the stage earlier than diabetes, it is actually 7.7 .7 crores, which is 77 million. It's actually more than the diabetes people. Now, why is this important? It's important because if you can identify these people with pre-diabetes, then you can prevent them from going into diabetes like you said. How prominent are the pre-diabetic symptoms are that if detected in, in earlier stage, we can, we can control the diabetes? Now, how do you identify these people with pre-diabetes and what symptoms will they have? Nothing. They will not have any symptoms. That's a whole problem. 50% of people who have reached the stage of diabetes, they don't have any symptoms. So that is why it's called as a silent killer. Now it's very clear that diabetes is no more a rich man's disease. But certainly living with diabetes, rich can turn to poor. Especially in country of India where we have marginal healthcare facilities, huge population everlasting, ever-changing technologies uh, that makes life easy, but on the other hand, we all are very busy. What you suggest, what, what is the best solution that India should implement to curb the diabetes from India? Every year, if you're about 30 years of age and you're an Indian, you should go for a checkup for diabetes. If you're about 20 years of age, but you have a family history of diabetes, your father, mother, brother, anybody has diabetes, then you should go for a checkup again for diabetes. So by going for routine checkup, the blood sugar tests are so simple to do. The advantage of diagnosing it at the stage of pre-diabetes is that it's completely reversible at that stage. You can become normal. 
it's like being on the wall. Suppose this side of the wall is diabetes and that side of the wall is uh, normal, let us say. Pre-diabetic is on the wall. They can either jump that side and become normal or they can jump this side and become diabetic. If they jump this side and become diabetic, you cannot go back. It's permanent. Now I came to know that, you know, diabetes is not reversible. But, hmm. but there are some, some advertisements or there are some, some short films where they say that diabetes is completely reversible. So, so this rumor is, is definitely a, a danger. You uh, come to this reversal of diabetes part. The, there are some forms of diabetes. You have pregnancy, gestational diabetes. After the delivery, diabetes goes away. But 50% right. comes back within five years. So that we don't tell people, you know. So if a pregnant lady has diabetes, uh, that will go away, that will go away, we say. It will go away for some, but half of them are going to come back or even 75% are going to come back with diabetes within five to eight years. Eight. So they have to have a thing. People who lose weight considerably, they undergo bariatric surgery. There's a temporary remission. So to some extent, the diabetes reverts. So they say it's gone away, gone away. Five years later, they come back with diabetes again. Okay. Oh. Even with things like transplantation, islet cell transplantation, pancreas transplantation, maybe give me a new pancreas, even there it reverts to some extent, but it comes back. Okay. Sometimes people who have stress, terrible stress, you know, tension, due to that they get diabetes. Once the stress goes away, the diabetes may go away. So if, if India, when India has to fight with diabetes at, at this moment of time, what is the best investment that India can do to make uh, India healthy? What, what can be the starting point of the investment to curb diabetes in India? India's future lies in its youth. Very true. Because China is a much older population. Many are in their 80s and 90s and it's a very older population. Their population is more, but they are slowing down. Very Our population is gro growing much faster in China. We are going to beat them in another 10 years time. Okay, And we have a young population. So our hope is our youth. If they are all going to develop diabetes and its complications and so on, it's a very tragic thing as far as India is concerned. So the government of India does have a national control program for diabetes cardiovascular disease and stroke. Diabetes is not a disease first of all, it's only a disorder. Okay, it's a simple disorder of the pancreas. If you have got diabetes, you can prevent its complications. Okay, So you don't have to suffer from any of the complications that you have. And finally, if bad luck you already have some complications, we have fantastic treatment available today. So all those complications can be treated. But don't think of the complications, think of diabetes, try to prevent diabetes. Don't even get diabetes, catch uh, in the stage of pre-diabetes or the high risk group and then prevent the diabetes coming. So it's a whole program of primary prevention, secondary prevention, tertiary prevention, all of it is possible. Vijayji travelled from the remote part of India, Nagaland. Region has no facilities to treat diabetic complications. This is the, the third time within two years I'm coming here at this hospital okay. clinic. So actually, uh, I'm a uh, both liver and kidney. I'm going on a, a transplant. I'm a diabetes patient for the last uh, 15 years, 15, 16 years. February this year, continuously I'm in the hospital. Living in a remote region of India with no specialist in diabetes, no nephrologist, Vijayji has to travel for a treatment. Life is difficult. Diabetes is an extra financial burden. Dr. Mohan is awarded Padma Shri for his remarkable service in diabetes. He is treating many diabetes patients from all walks of life, making life easy and comfortable with diabetes. He was detected diabetes at the age of 36, like 18 years back. Then uh, previously he was now on tablets, but before, like uh, for the past 10 years, has been an insulin dependent. So we've been coming for regular checkups, but the last two, three years we just missed the because outstation jobs nala, he couldn't be that regular. Then uh, six months back when we came here, uh, they said that is uh, this god is diabetic retinopathy eye disease. I am living a big big diabetes. Even if I have diabetic, I am happy. But for that, I think the person is very important. The individual is very important. The family is very important. Of course, we have to give the support of organizations and the government. So if you all work together, I think this is not a dream. It is a reality.